You're my dad, and I love you so much, but you can sometimes be a little intimidating. I, I know, you know what, everybody says that, but this isn't about me right now, it's about you and us together trying to make it right. Well, is this us, you know, talking, helping a little? What's better than not talking? Sweetheart, you can tell me anything you want. I may not understand all the time. Well, that makes two of us. But we're going to work together to, to figure it out. Where do you want to start? Well, how about how about Aaron? I, you know, I, I was under the impression that you, you guys were more than friends. We are. But then you met Parker, and what? Are you still going to see Aaron? I don't know, Dad. I mean, Aaron is a good guy. He's thoughtful, he's sweet, and he's really good looking. <laughs> I like him. Right, but not the same way you like this Parker woman. What Aaron and I have is on the surface. I connect with Parker on another level. Like, we have this deep connection that I've never felt. I can't ignore it. See, that worries me. I'll tell you why. Because this Parker woman, she's your, she's your professor, or was your professor, mentor, and, and that puts you at a disadvantage emotionally. Dad, no. Stop, let me, just let me talk. You wanna go out with women? That's fine. But this Parker, she's not right for you. I won't speak for your daughter. Then speak for yourself. You obviously took advantage of my daughter, so the least you can do is account for it. I did not take advantage of Christina. She sought me out. She wanted closure, and we talked. So it led to something else, but it was completely innocent. Oh, I hardly think it's innocent for an adult who is in a position of power to seduce a younger, confused, questioning girl. <laughs> I didn't seduce Christina. We're both adults. We were both willing participants, Alexis. Look, I understand that she hasn't come to terms with her identity, but she can't achieve that without exploration. That's what happened last night. Well, that is very generous of you to take time away from your marriage to be my daughter's guide. Well, my marriage is over. I'm getting a divorce. Well, see, that doesn't really help me at all because now I don't know if you're rebounding or if, if you've convinced yourself that you actually care about Christina. I care very much about Christina. I care very much about my interns, but I don't sleep with them. <sighs> Let me ask you something. If Christina weren't in the picture, would you be able to move on? Or do you see a future for you and Christina? Because I will tell you that my daughter can see a future with you, Parker. So I think it's time you put an end to that fantasy. <laughs>